Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to ask the question, what is most important when onboarding a green salesperson? What do I mean by a green salesperson? I mean a person who's never sold cars before. They may have sold real estate, they may have worked at Best Buy, maybe they sold motorcycles, bicycles, who knows, but they've never sold cars before. The question is, what's most important during the training process? I see three areas of potential training. As a sales manager, as a sales manager, there's three areas that I believe are important. Product training, product knowledge, process training, what to do and when, the road to the sale, how to do an appraisal, how to 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 finance, and then the last one is sales skills. It's been my experience that most dealers don't have a documented training process. They don't have a sales trainer. They leave it up to the sales managers. And because they leave it up to the sales managers, the sales managers need to have the skills to train this green person. So you need to ask yourself as a general sales manager, general manager, the question is, does, do your sales managers have what it takes to train Greenpeace? When I came into the business, my sales manager was responsible for my training. And he was busy doing a hundred things. I could tell he was a very busy man. I didn't know anything about the business and I could barely get the time of day from him. On day one, I filled out paperwork. It took me about an hour. For the rest of that day, I sat around and did nothing. The sales manager checked in with me, how's it going? Which I remember thinking, what do you mean how's it going? Nothing's going, I'm just sitting around doing nothing. Day two, same thing. Day three, he decided he was going to do some training. What was the training? He put me in a room with a TV, with a VHS, and I started watching product training videos, which I thought was important because he put me there, and I was scared shitless. I didn't know anything about cars, so I thought I needed to know everything about cars, and he reinforced that by locking me in a room for about two weeks watching videos, taking tests. So the message I got was product training, product knowledge was the most important thing because that's what I spent the vast majority of my time doing. At some point he decided he wanted me to start taking ups. And of course, when I started taking ups, I had no sales skills, but I had a ton of pilot product knowledge and so what did I do when I greeted a customer I didn't know what to do didn't know what to say but I did know about the cars so once I got them by the cars I began to vomit all the information I had in my head because I was so afraid I thought at least I can rely on my knowledge and the customer is going to be so impressed that they're going to ask me if they can buy a car never happen. So I'm here to say that while product training is important, I don't think it's the most important thing. I think that we spend way too much time emphasizing product, especially in the light of the fact that customers have all the information they need online that before they even get to the dealership, they've spent nine to 10 hours researching the Toyota RAV4. In fact, it's quite likely that they've spent more time studying the RAV4 than my green pea has studied the RAV4. They know more about the car than the salespeople do. So why do we emphasize product training so much when all the information's on online available for the green pea available for the customer so that begs the question what happens when the customer asks the green pea a question he doesn't know the answer to he sashays him over to a computer and he looks it up so 
the idea that your salesperson should have all the answers to all the product questions, I think is a waste of time. I think product knowledge should be this much of the sales training. Today, it's this much. Process training, the second of the three, typically process training doesn't happen until the salesperson has an appraisal or until the salesperson is going to go on a test drive. When I was a salesperson, I remember the first couple test drives when I asked a customer if they want to drive it or they want to test drive. I had to go to the manager and say, they want to take it for a test drive. What do I do now? Well, the keys are over here, and here's the dealer plate, and make sure you go with them. So I didn't get any process training until I actually hit a milestone in the process. What do I say to them when I greet them? What do I say to them when I'm qualifying them? What do I say to them on the test drive? What do I say to them when I come back from the test drive? What do I say to, to them when I'm writing it up? What do I say to them when I'm trying to close the deal? What do I say to them when I'm turning to the finance department? None of that was covered until I was in the game, until I had a customer in front of me. I believe that process training is more important than product training. Because if a salesperson knows the process, it instills confidence they might not know the product and they can get the answer but if they don't know the process they end up looking like a buffoon like an idiot there's no customer that expects a salesperson to know every answer to every product question but customers will give a salesperson grace to look it up they don't give them grace when they don't know where the keys are to the car or where's the demo plate or how to write up a trade-in. The customer sniffs it out pretty quick that the salesperson doesn't know what the hell he's doing. They'll show them grace on not knowing about the product, but they won't show them grace on not knowing how to do the sales process. Number three is sales training. I believe sales skills, sales training, how to talk to the customer, what to say to the customer, why to say it to the customer, is the most important thing you can do when onboarding a green pea. Don't wait until you're in the middle of the game to say, go back and say this. Go back and say this. Go tell them this. The salesperson is too far into the game to learn what to say. Tom Brady does not learn how to throw the ball when a receiver is open. He knows the receiver is going to be there. He knows where to throw the ball. He's practiced when to hand it off and when to throw it when to scramble and when to pass it. Sales skills are by far the most important skills you can train your green salesperson. Now just do it. So my question is to you, do you agree with me? Do you agree that sales skills are the most important? Sales process is the second most important. Do that before they talk to a customer. And product knowledge is the third most important. Your top salespeople do not spend hours on hours studying product, but they know their process inside and out, and they know what to say and when to say it, and that's why they close deals, and that's why they sell cars. Sales skills, process, product, in that order. Love to hear your comments. Love to hear your feedback. Chime in and let me know. Oh, by the way, if you like my content, please subscribe, share, like, give me five stars, all that stuff. Apparently, that's important to grow my channel. So please do that for me. 
This is Tony, Talking Carbis.